Hello everyone, it's Lynette with Charm Grammy Crochet. Today is Vlogist Day 24. 2-4. Two, I don't know if that's which way it works for your camera. <laughs> this is this way for me, so it's probably this way for you. I don't know. <laughs> uh, anyway, welcome back to the Iron Room. Uh, I have a few things. Um, I did some retail therapy. I know. I watched Jennifer from Cinnamon Stitches this morning as I was getting ready for work. And I've been wanting, I, I I think I've been to the yarn store. Well, there was the Hobby Lobby clearance and I hit several Hobby Lobbies. And I really have not been in the yarn store, I think, one, one time. I think only one time since then. Um, until I, someone told me that Hobby Lobby, uh, one of my friends told me that they saw on YouTube someone saying that Hobby Lobby usually just does two clearances. In the past, this has been the way they do it. They do their main clearance where they discontinue yarns. And that's where I, and they do that in June, like mid-June, historically. Um, and that's where I bought all that yarn that you saw in the last, like, big yarn haul that I had. Then in August, for the last couple of years, um, they go through and do a second clearance and it's of outdated dye lots so you get one or two you know uh, as a general rule in their june one like they'll clear out a whole a whole line of yarn like the 44th street i don't think they're going to carry that anymore um last year they cleared out the dazzling which i totally love that yarn but gone you can't get it anymore um so sometimes they just clear out like a color of that yarn um, Urban Chic this year. Uh, I don't think you can get Urban Chic anymore. Uh, but sometimes they'll say, like, they love the Soft and Sleek DK is really selling well, but this particular color doesn't sell well, and they'll clear out that color. Then in um, June, or in, that's in June. Then in August, over the past couple of years, uh, I found that they will um go through dye lots that are that they're no longer making that dye lot and if they have one or two of that specific dye lot whatever the color is they will clear out that dye lot only so that all the dye lots will match um and i have a lot of one and twos that i've picked up from them that way and in like you know most yarns that's you know uh like a sugar wheel you know, you get the big, this is not one of theirs, but you get a cake like this, you know, okay, I can do one and mix it with other colors or, you know, whatever. Um, some yarns I wouldn't want just one of because it doesn't match any other yarns, but like the four weight acrylic, you know, do anything with that. So I do like to shop that sale. And I had heard on the streets of YouTube that they were doing that again and and I went to my local store like the next day my most local store and the woman said no we did that clearance you know last you know two in June and I'm like now this is a different clearance so that was maybe more than a week ago and I watched them in stitches and she did some yarn uh, some retail therapy not at Hobby Lobby at Michael's and I wanted to go check out what she bought and see if I could buy as well well if I go to a store that's like a half an hour away from my work one direction and it's probably a half an hour from my house too but maybe a little bit longer I don't know different but anyway I thought you know I'm already halfway there or part of the way there when I was at work so I'm gonna go there and in this shopping center if you park over here, you go to Hobby Lobby, you cross through the other side of the mall, and on the back, there's, so the mall is here, and there's stores on the front side of the mall, then you go to the mall, then there's stores on the back side of the mall. So Hobby Lobby's on the front side of the mall, go around the mall, and there's a Joann's and a Michael's in the strip shopping center on the back side. So I'm like, I've been wanting to hit all three stores and just do it and see what they have. So I did. Um... And so I want to show you what I got. And 
that's mostly what this video is going to be about. And it's basically because of Jennifer. I'm blaming this one on Jennifer uh, from Cinnamon Stitches because she bought something really cool that I want to show you because I got it too. And I was real excited that I could get it. And if you could get it, it might be something you would love. But first, before we do that, Sandy from Crochet A Canada, um, that yarn ball up here that I was trying to show it, that is not what she was talking about. Yes, uh, when she emailed me, she said, no, it's this yarn over here, which I grabbed. So, uh, in these two packages, <laughs> she, she snapshotted a picture from my video and she circled the yarns. So this is the yarns that they are. There's two packages hanging out there. Um, this yarn, and I don't know which package specifically, so I brought, brought down both packages. These are reds. This is Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. Um, and that's called Fire Red. The next one is Deep Red, and that is a big twist. They are different colors, you can see. And then these last two, so this is like one and a half skeins of Impeccable. And that's the, so this is Hobby Lobby's brand. This is uh, Joanne Fabrics brand. This is Michael's brand. <laughs> and they are really different shades of red. Uh, the red from uh, Michael's, the Impeccable, is called Cherry. So if it's any of those, that's those. If you need some. Do you want me to go yarn shopping for you, Sandy? Hey, I'm your girl. I love to yarn shop on other people's money. Uh, and then the ones underneath that is this colors. And so I'll tell you what these are. This is, like, I just have the array of, <laughs> of yarn companies here. The first one is um, Basic Stitch from Lion Brand. And that is in the color, and these are all just four-weight acrylic, uh, Cayenne. Um... I think that's what it's called. No, maybe not. Can, can you read it? I probably did not say it right. Okay, yeah, you can see that. The middle one, um, or two, are both um, Premier Everyday Anti-Pilling. Uh, and they are in the color Clay Tone. So that's the variegated in the middle. And then this last one, which is uh, called Coral, and that is a crafter's secret yarn from Hobby Lobby. So those are the yarns that I was talking about. Um, these two, I'm sure you can get yourself uh, if you want them, um, because they are, I mean, if they still make the, the color. Uh, this is, these, Lion Brand Premier, and then that one's Hobby Lobby. I know you don't have Hobby Lobby. Um, this one's Hobby Lobby. I know you don't have that. But the others on this one you should be able to get as well. Uh, because this is Joanne's and this is Michael's. So, I got that business taken care of. I hope those are the right packages. Because if you want me to go through all of them up there, I will just let me know. Uh, so, I went to, first stop was Hobby Lobby. Um, because I needed to see if they have the one-offs because I really like the one-offs just as much. Uh, I wouldn't buy just any old yarn. I'll, I'll, I'll say that, you know, if they had like their hint of silk, if they had one and, uh, you know, unless I like thought of something really that I needed it for and I didn't have any of that yarn at home where I could like work them together because it's a specialty kind of yarn. Um, then I probably would stay away from that. But if they had one of their sugar whale cottons, oh, heck yeah, I'm buying that in a minute. Yeah, I mean, wild horses wouldn't keep me from it. So I went there and, uh, the, now this is the second Hobby Lobby I've been to in my general area. Uh, and if you're from my area of Ohio, I was, the first one I went to was in Strongsville where they didn't know what I was talking about. I didn't ask anyone in the yarn department today in the Mentor Great Lakes Mall Hobby Lobby. I did not ask anyone there. Um, but they did not have, they had one thing of yarn on clearance. And I did buy it. 
Uh, and it is the Sweet Delight Cloudy in a three weight. Um, and it was on sale on clearance for $1.37. I bought it to go with my three weight yarns and um, I thought it would be a nice elephant color <laughs> if I wanted to make the Amigurumi book elephant um, for myself and just make a smaller one because it would just be three weight yarn versus four weight yarn. And I know I would, I think I should be able to get a whole one out of that on the three, you know, with a smaller hook. And I thought, oh, that could be a really cute elephant color. <laughs> so that's, and it was lonely. So I picked it up. Um, so, and you know, it's three way. I got a lot of three weight yarns. You can always mix and match too. Uh, and I did buy the $2.99. I told you I bought fiber fill for $2.99. There we go. Polyfill $2.99. Uh, so I bought that there. And that's all I picked up there. It is their 30% off week, um, but yarn is getting extremely expensive in my opinion, and even at 30% off, I have a, enough yarn that I don't have to buy it if I don't need it. Uh, I do have a Joann's haul coming that I bought because for my um, chunky cuddler blanket, the thing that I'm knitting. I didn't have enough and so I was going to do piece parts of other colors and decided I didn't want to do that with it. So I had to order more and it was on sale. And that is supposed to come sometime today, the first package. They're, it was supposed to be one package. They're sending it in two. You know how they do. Um, and so the first package is supposed to arrive today and I was hoping it would be here by now, but nope. So you'll see what's in there with me tomorrow. So the next store I went to was Hobby Lot or was Michael's, but I'm going to show you that last. Uh, and then I, I did go into Joann's and they had all of their Lion brand was on sale. Uh, again, there wasn't really anything that I needed, but I did have a 40% off coupon for something not on sale. And I thought, well, I'm here. I may as well look around and see what I can find. Um, they had a really pretty yarn called Glamour. KC is a K and C yarn. Um, and I really wanted to buy some and it was really hard not to. It's on a 50% off sale. And they're a little tiny. They rem remind me of like a true boo, except uh, glitzier. Like the yarn is sparklier itself. Um, which true boo has a shine to it. So this had like a sparkly shine to it. And it was very soft and um, they had a color that looked like champagne and I'm like, oh my God, that is beautiful. Uh, but I, I, I didn't buy it. Um, I couldn't use another coupon. I didn't need the yarn. I could think of a million things to make with it though, but I, I was good because I had purchased, um, I spent some money at Michael's. So, <laughs> so I'm like, no, just be good. And, and stay away from the yarn. But I had to use my 40% off coupon because that's just a waste if you don't, right? And I'm not planning on going back. Um, but I bought this. This is a Karen Jumbo Ombre. And I just thought it was gorgeous. I just thought it was gorgeous. Now, these aren't as big as their one pounders. These are only, uh, what, 12 ounces, uh, 340 grams, 595 yards, 400. 544 meters I just thought the color was it's called blossom and it's got like my favorite colors are well you know I like all colors I guess mostly um but I just thought it was gorgeous and I could just imagine making a beautiful wrap out of this um or getting more of them with more 40% off coupons and a beautiful sweater if you could make it match and when I was looking at them, you know, they all don't start at the same spot. And so making it match would be really hard. So if you didn't care if your sweater matched front and back or whatever, I guess if you went round and round, if you could do a sweater in the round, I don't, I don't know. Um, but I just thought it was gorgeous. And so I bought it and I got 40% off and it was still, I'm like, what? That's 40% off. I still spent over $7 for it. So I thought that was kind of crazy. Um, so that, I, I have to put that away. 
So that's what I got at Hobby Lobby and Joann's. And Michael's is where I did really good. First of all, when I was at Michael's, yes, this came from Michael's, it says so. I love this pattern. The Scooty, and it's got a, a keyhole thing in it. I thought that was really cool. I imagine you could uh, get the, this is, you know, the free take one thing. But my guess is you can go to um, michaels.com and get the pattern, you know, without actually going into the store. I think you can do that. But I thought, I... I, I don't know that I necessarily love the stitch pattern, but I love the idea. And so I thought, well, I'm going to hang on to that because even if I did a different stitch, I like the idea of it. So, um, so, I, so I took it. Uh, and then the things that I bought. I bought two different sets. Um, now, Jennifer purchased this set of knitting needles and I know this is like crochet channel but I am learning to knit and I know that there's a lot of my viewers that are by stitchable you knit and you crochet and you even Tunisian um this set was marked regular price of 80 89 dollars and they had it on sale for 45 on clearance and then they discontinued it even deeper discount um, and I paid $29, which is also what uh, Jennifer paid at hers. So $29 and this, you get all this. Um, I don't know what all this is. This little board comes out, but I thought we'd check it out together real quickly. So this thing slides out and then this lifts up. So all your pretties stay together. So you have all the needles, the wooden needles, which, and they, they have it's interchangeable hooks so the needles go up to a uh, 10 millimeter um which is i think what i'm knitting that oh, i think that's what i have that i have my blanket on oh and by the way i did get the blanket back on at the uh i had to go back to my lifeline but i did get i did get it on and i was very excited about that so i didn't have to frog the whole thing um, and Nancy, my friend Nancy from She's Got Yarn Too, she saw that I had to frog it and, um, no, it wasn't that that she called me about. She called me, oh, about my knitted hat, the hat that, and putting a brim on the hat that I was doing on the Addy. That's what she, she said, use your Tunisian hooks and you can Tunisian a brim. And I'm like, oh my goodness, that's a great idea. She said, you got to use the ones that have the cord. That's why I was thinking this. You got to use the ones that have the cord. Um, and I have those uh, Tunisians with the cord because it needs to be flexible to go in the circle from the you know from the knitting machine. And she says, then you can just Tunisian, uh, you know, Tunisian knit uh, or crochet or whatever uh, brim on it, or you can use. She says, you know, if you had needles, and I'm like, I got, I have needles, I have needles. So I'm trying to see what the smallest size is here. It's um, engraved in there, and um, it's very dark, and I cannot tell. Uh, skinny, skinny. That's the smallest size. Is very skinny. I don't, uh, I don't know if it tells me on the box. I'll look again in a minute. And then it has different size cords, different colors. I don't know if the colors mean different size. Um, and then it has four of these things. I don't know what that is. Or maybe, is that how you put the cords on? And then it has some of these wooden screw on things. Uh, in different sizes because this screw on this screw is much bigger than the screw on this one so those must be stoppers oh they got a bunch of different sizes in here um a bunch of those i don't think these, i don't know how long these cords are but there's two sets of them and so this end must be for the bigger 
and this for the smaller because the little metal ends or brass ends or whatever are different sizes. Um, there's no instructions. <laughs> okay, well, I kind of wasn't expecting instructions, but there aren't any <laughs> uh, as to how to put them together. Um, I don't think it should be probably just kind of screw them in, right? There, there's the needles are threaded, so uh, I'm sure it'll be fine. And the Michaels in Mentor at the mall did uh, did have another set of these, one more set of the wooden ones. Uh, and this is a loops and threads interchangeable circle needle set. It says 10 pair of interchangeable needles, various sizes and woods. So you can see they're two different color woods, a lighter wood and a darker wood. Uh, and it says one set. 28 pieces. You do get six cables in various lengths with brass caps. So for $29, I thought I'm going to buy that set. And now I have a set up to a size 10 mini, 10 millimeter wooden. And I am, because I'm new at this, like the wooden. So I'm happy with that. Then when I was there, they also had this set. And this is a metal set. And this also was $85, marked down to $40, marked down to $29. And this one comes in a carrying case. And this is, let me read that. Oh, this one has instructions. <laughs> I like that. It has, um, it's a 40-piece set. It says the... Uh, needles come from a two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, so they're U.S. sizes two through fifteen, including a ten point five. But there is not a twelve or not a fourteen mill, um, size. So I don't know if they don't make that size, but it's a two point seven five millimeter up through a ten millimeter. Um, set of, of needles with uh, they've got some little like ends on them and things and it comes in a case and I thought this will just pull apart but I might be wrong oh yeah there it goes I want to be careful not to lose anything oh yeah it, it's all staying in good uh Oh, okay, so these oh, these cables go through. There's a piece of plastic that you feed them through, and then it holds them down at the bottom. And then your metal hooks are here, or needles. And so this is what it looks like. And then it zips up, and you have them all in a little carrying case. Now, how awesome is that? And that also was $29. And the, I don't know if you can tell on here, but... See, it tells you which what numbers the needles are right on the case. It's not the millimeter, though, so I need to keep the cardboard. I'll never know what the millimeter is. <laughs> I'm trying to get one out to see if it says on the needle itself. It does not. The needle itself does not tell you what the millimeter is. That's kind of sad. And then there's this thing in here. Wait a minute. I can't get to it. Hold on. Oh, it's got this little, it's like a little rubbery thing. Well, I bet that's to hold the needles to tighten the plastic and the metal ends on, huh? Well, that'll probably be nice to have. Now you know I'm not going to get it back in there without taking all the daggone hook needles out. To get, that's kind of, there's a little pouch that this little rubbery thing came out of. But you have to take the needles off in front of it to get, to get now it doesn't want to go back in there yeah that's a bad idea yeah the things that are in these little pouches you have to take the needles out to get to it might have been better off to put those little pouches on the outside with a zipper pocket or something i don't know 
I don't know. But anyway, that is what I got at Michael's. So I'm excited about the metal hooks or metal needles. Um, I know they're not the fancy ones, but I don't think knitting is going to be my, you know, every day I'm going to be knitting. Um, but I'm not that I couldn't knit every day as I get better on it. You know, a little knit, a little crochet. I'm, I'm good to do that. Um, but, and I know when I bought my clover hooks, I was using a, like a, a different set that I got off of Amazon for $12 and it had like 9,000 hooks and uh, some stitch markers and probably a measuring tape and a little pouch, you know, to put everything in. And it was like less than $10 probably. And I crocheted fine with those hooks. But then someone told me to get clover, a more. And the first clover I got was the flat clover. So whatever that is, it was Dana from Dana's Wonderlust Crochet. She's the one that turned me on to the clover. She said, oh, you'll love this. You'll crochet so much faster. It'll be so much better. You'll love them, love them, love them. Well, I bought that first clover, and it uh, the flat one. And I hated that thing. I could not crochet with that. My it's so it was so slidey. I couldn't keep the yarn on the hook, and I'm, I'm like missing stitches all the time. I'm dropping stitches. You know, like I can't. I had to work with it several times before I could work with the sleekness of those crochet hooks of that. And I actually didn't like that hook. Um, and it's a six millimeter, which has been historically my favorite crochet hook. Uh, but I rarely use the one with the flat handle. <laughs> I do like the rubber handle ones better. Uh, and, but again, it's still the same fast. And it took a while to get used to it. Learning to knit and doing it on wooden needles, I think is going to be so much better for me. Um, just because I'm finding it to be a little cumbersome. Uh, particularly with the cord. So... I'm enjoying it. I really enjoyed the first 15 rows of the blanket. The the ones after that have been a little bit uh, challenging for me, uh, but that's okay. Um, that's it's supposed to be a challenge. It's something new, right? And Nancy is doing fabulous, and I couldn't be more proud of her. So I have to catch up. And Laura from Man Mimi's Crochet and Farming, she's doing fabulous. I don't think she had any problems switching stitches. <laughs> I can't seem to make my hands want to do it that way. Um, but I was tired yesterday when I tried to do it again. Um, so I'm going to put it up until I'm fresh. When I can like get up and not have been at work and then shopping like today I'm thinking it's not a good day to pick up the knitting needles even though I really really want to um I'm not going to uh and I think having wooden needles to learn and then be able to transition to metal and, and be able to go back and forth you know um uh, I think that's gonna work out really well for me I'm, I'm that's my anticipation so for 30 bucks I got an entire metal set and another 30 bucks and I got an entire wooden set um, so I can dabble and play and I'm sure that just like knitting just like crochet hooks they don't go bad so if if I work on a project you know once a year I'll have what I need and I'm real excited about that and I think if they did not have another set at the Michaels at, at in Mentor Mall they did not have another set of the metal needles but they did have another set of the wooden needles um but if you're interested i would call the michaels in your area wherever you are and see if they are running them on clearance as well maybe they even are in canada i don't know um obviously i'm not from canada but uh i would give it a i would give it a look if you're interested in some knitting needles that look pretty good to me but i'm not an editor so <laughs> i'm just a learner uh Let's see, what else did I have to tell you? I don't think anything. My other yarn is in here, so I'll show you that tomorrow because most of it should be here tomorrow. I can finish my blanket, and then I had to fill up the, you know, cart to make it free shipping. 
I could buy yarn versus pay shipping, so I bought yarn. Mm, I can't remember. I think I bought some Ferris wheel. I love Ferris wheel, so I'm real excited about that. Uh, and I think I might have bought something else new, but I'm, I don't think, I, I can't remember if I kept it in the cart or not. So it'll be a little bit of a surprise for both of us. Uh, and that is all I have for you today. Vlogist 24. Um, and we'll probably have a little more retail therapy tomorrow. I will say on another, just, you know, side note, you know how I am. I have been trying to avoid yarn stores because, um, I need to use up some yarn and yet I love going into the yarn stores. <laughs> so it was good. It was good therapy to go in there. I felt really good walking out when I really wasn't buying anything too, which I never thought I would do, uh, walk out and feel good about not buying anything. I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't want to pay that price. I don't need anything right now. Uh, I got to use my 40% off coupon on yarn that I thought was beautiful. And um, even if I hadn't bought the knitting needles, you know, if I had just walked out with that one skinny yarn from Joann's, it was a good shopping day. You know, it's like a bad, a small haul or no haul day at the yarn store is better than a day at work. <laughs> even though I did work today too, so made up for it because I got I got to go to three yarn stores in one day so Menor Mall is awesome for that uh all right that's it that's it I just wanted to leave you with uh, even not buying yarn at the store is better than a day at work <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow bye